how to install Reframe 360 into DaVinci Resolve version 17. First of all, let's choose the plugin for Windows and DaVinci Resolve. Click on the text to download it. Let's place the zip file onto the desktop, save it. It's here. And it says to install, extract the archive, this archive, to that path. Now let's open a file explorer we know. File explorer and navigate to that path is the C drive. C drive, program files, common files, program files, the one which does not have any x86 after it. Program files, common files. It says an OFX folder, which I don't have. So let's just go here to home, new folder. Yes, continue. And create an OFX folder. Enter. Double click to enter into the OFX. Another new folder. Continue. And call it plugins. Plugins and press enter. Enter into the plugins folder also, and it says extract the archive into that folder. So double click on the zip file and drag that one to the OFX plugins folder. Continue. Okay, and now let's minimize this window. We can even delete this zip file. Delete. Start DaVinci Resolve open a project whatever you have there that's my old project delete okay back to edit tab now let's create a video this is an insv file double click on it and open it with insta360 studio so here's the video itself and click on the export button in the lower right corner go to 360 i will call it test Resolution is fine, codec, whatever. Start export. It's pretty quick. So I'm exporting an ISNV file into a 360 degree MP4 file and it's ready. And now drag the MP4 file and drop it onto the timeline of DaVinci. It looks like this. Now go here to effects and at open effects we have filters. And there we have a reframe, reframe 360 plugin. Now drag and drop this one onto the video, and then in the inspector you should have effects. And it looks like this. <laughs> so it's installed, but it needs some further action. Black gap there also. Fill the view, zoom it in. So I have two, this one and that one, two unstitched area. Okay, so that's how to install the Reframe 360 plugin into DaVinci Resolve version 17.